So this was not planned. Um, I have like a cold, and it's, it's kind of like a kind of flight, like, oh, what if it was COVID, ha, ha, ha. So, hence the face mask. Um, I'm not one of those people who is really weird about it, who thinks all when the particles on the iPad that, in a way, when you guys watch a video, go get it, and then, you know, vice versa. No, it's just kind of, I thought it was kind of funny thing. I had it in my uh, coat pocket the other day. I was just through it, and I was like, what's this? I was like, oh, it's the face mask. And um, yesterday was even worse than today. Usually I have these videos, and from now on, I'm going to do it two weeks in a row. Not this one, though, but like starting next week, I'll be doing them these Omnibus Fridays two weeks prior or ahead. So this doesn't happen. Um, again, but here is the Marvel Knights. This is episode 19, the Omnibus, Omnibus Fridays. This one is on Marvel Knights by Joe Quesada. And this one is just Daredevil. I don't know why they didn't just call it Daredevil by Kevin Smith on with us. Because that's essentially what is in here. Yeah, it's a Marvel Knights Daredevil. Maybe just do Marvel Knights Daredevil Omnibus. But this one's confusing because you think, oh, are they going to have the Spider-Man in there? No, they just have Daredevil. We have yet to get a Marvel Knights Spider-Man Omnibus. It's kind of annoying because I did like that Marvel Knights Spider-Man book. I read the first issue a long time ago. But this one is what you what you should get before you get the Brian Michael Bendis one. Because Brian Michael Bendis was... Postal Inception 08, it was still Marvel Knights, Daredevil. See, they should, they should, they should, they should just called it uh, Marvel Knights by Kevin Smith. So, so include the issue by Joe Quesada in here, obviously. But just called it Marvel Knights by, uh, sorry, Marvel Knights. Called it uh, Kevin Smith, um, Daredevil on the bus. That's, again, essentially what this is. Now, I have read the first arc of this uh, series. This was the, it was the, um, I believe, issues 1 through 6, I want to say. Roughly that much. Um, now this one, if you guys know what the story is, or if you know, like, um, if you have heard of it, it is that story with the baby and Daredevil trying to protect the baby, or vice versa. I forget who was trying to protect it and who was trying to kill it. It's one, it's one of those things. A uh, very dark book, as Daredevil books go, um, but very good. I, I, I really like the first arc, and I just, for the longest time I just kind of, like, fell out of reading, um, the catching up on the books. And then I was trying to get, like, oh, we're going to get the Mark Wade and the, um, the Mark Wade Daredevil Omnibus. And then before that, it was Ed Brubaker, I believe. And then it was Mark Wade. But I was going to get, like, all, I was going to get them all chronologically. So I would have Frank Miller to Charles Soule. And then when the, once the Chip Zdarsk one came out, I get that. And I kind of got into that method, but I, I think I probably should just try and finish this one, um, pretty soon here. I did really like it. I do automatically recommend it. I think it's worth your money. I think it's out of print, though, unfortunately. So this one collects Daredevil issues 0 through 15, and then the half issue, Daredevil Father 1 through 6, Marvel Authentics Daredevil issue 1, and material from Marvel Knights Double Shot number 1. Actually, it's, it's written by... Oh, it's written by... Oh, in Garth Ennis, but Garth Ennis is... Poil only does the half issue, the another half issue, but the Marvel Knights double shot. Okay, yeah, I got Jimmy Palmiotti. So I guess I guess it would be kind of annoying. Uh, annoying. I guess it would be kind of stupid to call it. Um, but even then, I, I don't know. There's just so many things they could have done. Because I, I want to say when Bendis, because Bendis was like issue 16, um, whatever, it, right? Yeah, Bendis was issue 16 um, of this run. And I don't think they would have... They would have gone away from Marvel Knights. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Kevin Smith does the Guardian Devil. So actually, it's one through eight. Sorry, one through eight is what I've read. The Guardian Devil uh, is what I've read. Then David Mack. That was right. Double shots written by Gar Dennis. Then Joe Casada for Dare Daredevil Father. Then the half issue is Kevin Smith again. And then he comes back for the zero with issue. Kevin Smith does. And then issue 12 is co-written by Joe Quesada, but also Shane Pagliotti. So yeah, I guess it would be kind of stupid to say. I guess it would be kind of, um, be kind of confusing to say Daredevil by Kevin Smith on the bus. There. And there is your under the dust jacket. And that, as I say, is that. Um, next video will, um, will probably be the comic reviews, and then the comic haul from the library, last of the year, and then 
slow, slow, slowly. Then one more, I think one more, uh, yeah, one more Unless Fridays and then Christmas. Um, the wayward overviews, I will still try and get that done. Um, but I'm sure with the Christmas folks, I'm going to have a lot more video. You know, I'll still do that because I'm sure like I'd have like one of those things. I have a Monday video and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then nothing for Friday, sorry, nothing for Thursday or something like that. Because I'm on both Fridays on Fridays and then, you know, but that's that. And see if YouTube gets the thumbnail thing. It doesn't just do, you do it like this, you know. Actually, he has me showing off the book. Got it, though.